And then on the other side has your spoon. Okay. Siren red fire truck. What am I doing? Insane. Is my bra hanging out? Oh, you can't see. Okay. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you from Las Vegas, baby. Um, I'm on vacation with my husband and today I thought, well I have nothing to do while Sam's at work so I might as well film a get ready with me to show you guys what products I use for my makeup. I always get asked on Instagram what products I use. So um, keep watching, make sure to subscribe and this is my first ever kind of beauty related video <laughs> and I have no idea what I'm doing so be nice and kind but this is the look I decided to do. It's obviously a little bit more glam just because I am in Vegas so it is 10 in the morning and I look like this. Okay, with me. let's get started. Forewarning, it's going to look worse before it gets better because I am going to cream contour um, so you look like just a crazy person when you cream contour at first but then it all transforms and looks beautiful. So, um, I am going to start off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette. I picked this up at TJ Maxx, I wanna say for $14.99, which is a steal. And so I'm just gonna mix through here and then, yeah. for the light so I don't like to use these light shades under my eye I just feel like it gets really cakey so I just use my regular concealer but before I do that I'm gonna take some of these light colors and just carve out right below that darker contour and with that one I am gonna go ahead and use um, a sponge and this kind of sponge is a real techniques one they're like contouring sponges so it's like a half of one they're really cute so like a pack of four for $3.99 at TJ Maxx TJ Maxx is killing it with like beauty products again I just mix the three little light shades I don't know why because I don't really necessarily know what I'm doing I like that and then I'm just gonna do a little bit down the middle of my nose okay now we're gonna go on to concealer this is my favorite concealer at the moment and everyone is raving about it because it's like a dupe for the dart shape tape it's the elf 16 hour camo concealer stuff is really full coverage and i like full coverage for going out but for an everyday i don't i like a more natural look surprisingly um so i just use a teeny bit like this just like right there okay The foundation I like to use right now is between the two. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This one is, I believe, $6, and it's super full coverage. It lasts, and it looks really good. And then when I like a more natural look, the um, L'Oreal True Match Lumi has been like a favorite of mine since high school. It is very dewy, very luminous, so I like the both. And today, I think I'm going to go in with, I think I'm going to go in with the True Match Lumi because it is a little bit darker and my spray tan, you know, whatever. Okay, I'm going to start with one pump because I'm going to show you, uh, two pumps. We're in Vegas, right? Okay, you're going to take it and you're going over everything.
have our foundation, our concealer, and contour on. I am, like I said, I don't like powders, but I do like to set my under eyes a little bit, and it broke um, while traveling. But this is the e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. This is three bucks, and I love it just to set my under eyes. It's not too heavy and cakey, and I just tap it and just lightly, lightly pat it under the eyes and on the lid. Okay, next we are going to do blush. Blush is like my favorite. I don't know, I've gotten really into blush recently. This blush is one of my favorites. It's a dollar and it's from that website, Shot Miss A. I love that site. I have gotten so many good things from there and they have one of my favorite um, beauty blender sponges on there as well and I believe that one is a dollar too. I think I might have to do a shot or a Shot Miss A haul because I am like a budget friendly thrifty girl and I love that website. So this one is Golden Apricot and it's a very very pretty luminous blush. And the other one which is high end is a Becca blush in the shade Hyacinth. I don't know. This was like a two in one where it had champagne pop in here and then the blush on the other side. And I love both of these and I'm going to go ahead and use this one today just because I'm in Vegas and I want a little bit more color on my face. And I just kind of like tap it into my skin like this instead of like brushing it on. I like to tap because I don't set my face with powder and so I have to be careful because your liquid foundation and liquid products and cream products can move around a little bit easier. Okay, and then something else I always do, don't ask me why, I just always add a little bit of blush to my nose. I think it looks really um, like cute and girly. I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm weird. Okay, so for highlight, I actually left like my favorite highlighter at home. And that one is the e.l.f. Little Baked Highlighter, and I cannot remember the name of it. I will like put it right here or something. And it is so, so good I always talk about it you need to like peel off the first layer so just take your fingernail and just kind of scrape out the first layer I don't know why but I read that and it works so good because underneath the highlight is like bang and it is so good and the only highlighter I have here with me is not my favorite I don't even like this I got this at um TJ Maxx it was like $3.99 this little palette from Makeup Revolution it's the radiance palette and it looks really pretty doesn't work very good and I just take um, this golden one and pop that on to my cheek I mean it's pretty it's just not the best that's all I'm gonna add a little bit on my nose okay so yeah today is my first day in Vegas without Sam he's at his training class and so I have the whole day to myself. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm probably gonna go down and do some slats because I need to win enough money to buy myself a Gucci belt. That's my goal of the trip. My goals were that and to not get pregnant. And I don't think either is gonna happen. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. okay, so face makeup is done. Looks really pretty. I like it. Now onto our eye. Okay, so for my eyebrows, don't ever watch me do a video about eyebrows. Don't trust what I say about eyebrows because I seriously have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> but I will tell you this. Little dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer Pencil. I realized, my gosh, this reminds me of my e.l.f. one. Same thing, literally, and I prefer my e.l.f. one every single time. I don't even grab that one anymore. So this is the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. Like I said, it is $3 and it is such a good brow pencil. So the one side has like the slanted tip and then on the other side has your spoon. Okay. Has your spoolie. Where are you at now? 
Okay, so brows are on. Now we're going to go on to eyeshadow. And I love this My Holy Grail palette from Violet Boss. I got this as a Christmas gift, I want to say, oh my gosh, a couple years ago. Yeah, and I still use it. It's very, very pretty. Um, a lot of like the berry colors and oranges and I like all that. But today, for, for a more like every day-ish look, this is a Morphe M441 brush, just a nice big fluffy brush. I just go in with like this shade actually called Transition and so I'm just going to throw that right into my crease. I'm gonna go ahead and do this is called cool beans and it's just like a champagne color now normally I would take that elf highlighter that I talked about that I use on my cheek and I use that on my eyelid because it's so pretty but this is what I'm using it's kind of the same color this palette has such good um, color payoff like the pigment of it is so pretty Okay, I'm gonna go back with that same brush and I'm gonna go into the dark brown. I used to be really into makeup um, before I had kids, or even when I had Lucy, I feel like I was still was in it. I used to do like the scotch tape trick where you'd put like tape right here and it'd be like so cut and perfect. And now, as a mother too, I just don't care. And that is why I think it's funny when people are always like, I love your makeup. Like, if you knew how I just slap it on my face. Eyeshadow is done. Now we're moving on to eyeliner. I have another e.l.f. product that I love. This is the e.l.f. H2O Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. It's a felt tip pen. Love this. Um, it could be darker. Like, I wish it was, like, a little bit darker. But you can just go over it again. Um... And I'm just going to go ahead and do a small wing. Okay, because I'm in Vegas, I'm gonna put on my lower <laughs> lower liner too. And this is, again, Wet n Wild, the Mega Last eyeliner. And I'm just gonna go ahead and line my bottom. Okay. Okay, now on to um, mascara. I am putting on false lashes today because I'm in Vegas. Once again, I say that. Um, but obviously, normally, I don't wear false lashes. I would love one day to get lash extensions, but... Favorite mascara of all time. I've been using this again since high school. They've just changed color packaging, and it's the Wet n Wild, once again, um, Mega Length Mascara. I love this. This for your bottom lashes, your lower lash line, is so good um mine is like on its last leg i need more of it oh maybe that's all i'll do i think they might have a walgreens or something down here um because i'm wearing false lashes i'm just doing a little coat on top that dry for a second and um, the lashes I'm gonna be using I got these at the dollar store you guys um, the dollar store by my house like carries the best I don't know where how she gets them but the best stuff 
it's not like a Dollar Tree. It's crazy. So if you live in my area, Debbie's Dollar in Washington Township is the best. They had these Ivor Lux Silk um, Lashes for a dollar. I was literally blown away. I bought a lot of them and they are so pretty. So these are the lashes. Um, so natural. Just throw them on. Go to the grocery store. <laughs> no, these are nothing natural, but these are absolutely stunning lashes. Okay, so for my lip color, I always wear a nude color lip. It's very rare to see me in something else. So um, what I do first is line my lip and the liner I do use, of course, I forgot at home in another purse. Um, but that one is by NYX and that's in this shade brown nude, nude brown, something like that. It's probably wrong. Um, but this one is the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner in the shade Bear to Comment. And it's just like a pink, pinky nude. The liquid lipstick I'm going to wear is the Stila Stay All Day in the shade Sonoda. It's just a pinky nude. I found this at TJ Maxx too for like $5.99. I don't understand. Is all, are all their products like discontinuity? I don't know. But I'd highly recommend going and checking out um going and checking them out because they have so much okay and that is the final look um this is obviously a little bit more than an everyday makeup look but i just i guess wanted to show and share with you guys products that i love as you can tell i'm a big drugstore makeup fan i love me some wet wild elf makeup um i love affordable things now I do have some higher end products in there, but I'm gonna be honest, a lot of them I was either gifted, like a, Chris, a Christmas gift or a birthday gift. Um, some of them were from TJ Maxx, which was like half the price of the normal retail price. So always check your TJ Maxx and Marshalls because for whatever reason, they have high end makeup for cheaper. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this. If you guys want to see more makeup or get ready with me, um, comment below and like this video and make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching.